Hulk Hogan recently sat down with CBN and talked about his faith journey, specifically surrounding water baptism and the effect that that had on his life personally, as well as a shocking story that Hulk Hogan told that nobody was expecting. Now, in today's video, we're going to dive into a couple of these clips, as well as I want to end this video with a specific Bible verse that will tie in exactly what Hulk Hogan was doing and can be an encouragement to you out there. Now with this, we're going to dive into this first clip where Hulk Hogan is talking about his baptism. Public baptism. Mm -hmm. You've said the greatest moment of your life. Yes, without a doubt. Terry, what did that mean for you? It broke down that fourth or fifth wall to tell people the truth about my Lord and Savior, how you know you should look at things or, or how you should care for people and not judge people. And it set me free. It wasn't that perfect vessel that I should be or should have been. Once I was baptized, I felt I was all anew. It really was a major pivot in my life. Hulk Hogan, what does the person of Jesus Christ, Terry, bring to you? That God presence in us. You know, that still small voice. So what Terry brings to the table is a meat suit, you know, a meat suit filled with the Spirit of Christ, and it's a testing ground for me. I accepted Christ as my Savior when I was 14, but I derailed. It wasn't my life. He has given me the opportunity to prove that I'm faithful, and I'll never make those same mistakes again. My faith, the momentum was overwhelming. There was nothing stopping me. As we see here, Hulk Hogan is letting the people know, hey, listen, being water baptized was the most important decision of his life, and it had the most impact in his life from allowing him to just kind of be more bold and outspoken about his faith, saying that it broke down the fourth and fifth wall for that, for him to start doing that, as well as talking about just in this interview how wrestling for 25 plus years, 30 years, I mean, you, you really take on that character that you are. You know, Hulk Hogan really took on that character. And he said, you know, he, he struggled in his past with being the character and just being himself. And so with that, this baptism that he, he committed to has radically changed his own life. And he learned from his mistakes. He learned from his past. And he's making it clear I'm, I'm never going to go down that path again. We then go on and see Hulk Hogan sharing a story that is completely out of this world shocking. Can I tell you a crazy wrestling story? Yeah, of course. A buddy of mine, Roddy Piper, passed away. Roddy Roddy Piper. And he was really trying hard to, you know, surrender and try to get his life straight. So, I mean, we would text every single day. Now, in the wrestling business, for 25 years, we couldn't stand each other. We were at each other's throats. I know it's predetermined all that, but he did not like me, and I did not like him. And that's just how it was. Well, once we got older and, you know, we basically had some conversations. And so we, we started talking a lot, and he started asking me about my spirituality. He really didn't connect, but he was very curious, you know. He wouldn't surrender. And all of a sudden, he passes away. And it was an a and &E special about Roddy Piper. And the very thing, when they get ready to go to credits, it wasn't a text message, but it was a text message that was a voice message on the text. You know, so he, he must have. But this text message came in two days after he died. And the text message goes, I'm just loving you, my brother. I'm just walking with Jesus, walking with Jesus and loving you, my brother. I was like, he would have never said that when he was here. And Terry, he wanted you to hear it, right? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, see, he would have never said that when he was here. So it's just, it's amazing how things work, you know, so. We see here the, the raw emotion coming from Hogan. We see this incredible, unexplainable, situation this story where a wrestler that hulk hogan you know in the character in the ring they, they hated each other they, they didn't like each other at all but behind the scenes were constantly texting back and forth and and talking about faith talking about christianity 
And as they got older and kind of like fleshed out some of their issues, uh, they really started talking about Christ and the scriptures. And we see that Hulk Hogan was like, hey, he just didn't seem like he was on board with it. But then two days after he passes away, Hulk Hogan receives a voice text message from him talking about he, how he loves him, how he's walking with Jesus. And this is one of those things where it's unexplainable. How does that happen? But we see there is an impact. Guys, when we plant and water seeds, there is a supernatural work happening in people's lives. We may not see it with our own eyes here, but guys, be encouraged that the Lord is still doing a work. To give you a scripture to just encourage you in this time, if this is something similar to you, maybe you're pouring into somebody and you're just not really seeing the, the fruits from it, but you're still faithfully pouring into a person. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 6 to 9 say this. This is Paul talking. I planted Apollo's water, but God gave the increase. So neither he who plants is anything, nor he who waters, but God who gives the increase. Now he who plants and he who waters are one. Each one will receive his own reward according to his labor. For we are God's fellow workers. You are God's field. You are God's building. Guys, listen. Paul planted Apollo's water. Hulk Hogan was planting and he was watering the seeds that he was setting forth inside of this wrestler, Roddy Piper. And we didn't see it. Hulk Hogan didn't see it visually, but God was increasing that seed. God was doing a work in that seed. And it is God who gives the increase, as we see here. So be encouraged. Continue to be faithful in planting, watering, and doing that with seeds that you are faithfully going out and sharing the good news of the gospel, sharing who Christ is and what he came to do with other people. Because you never know what's going on behind closed doors. Real quick, guys, if you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to the BTT Ministry YouTube channel, as well as leave a like and a comment. I would love to hear from you. And if you enjoyed this video, you might like this one over here.